Mayors from across the country were in Washington, D.C. this week to discuss issues impacting the people that they serve. Topics at the semi-annual conference of mayors included climate change, infrastructure, and mental, and mental health. When the mayors met President Biden, immigration reform was top of mind. And these local leaders, they want to find ways to ease the current migrant crisis, which is impacting communities across the country. Joining me now is one of the trustees of the conference and the mayor of New Orleans, Latoya Cantrell. Mayor, thank you so much for being here. Thank I you. think it is safe to say that the influx of uh, people coming to our southern border is an issue for cities across many cities across the board and an issue for mayors. And so I know that you all were with President Biden at the White House on Friday. That was something that came up in his remarks and in you all's meeting. What were you all there to ask for, and what was the president's response? Well, one, it was making sure uh, that the cities have the necessary resources mm -hmm. on the ground, but absolutely caring about our immigrant communities and, and wanting to ensure that policies are in place to, to protect our people, to protect people, period. And so Mayor Suarez, the president of the conference, uh, definitely uh, pushed uh, our president on that, and he responded very favorably, uh, visiting the borders himself and just making a real commitment to work with mayors on the ground and, of course, uh, responding to the needs of the border and on the border. Was there a particular policy uh, prescription that you all were looking for? for well, one is just making sure, because, listen, it's about resources as well and ensuring that uh, when our immigrant communities are coming into our cities, mm -hmm. that there are additional resources to respond in real time. Mm -hmm. And not only that, we want to make sure, again, that we remain a welcoming uh, city, a welcoming country as well. All right, issue that mayors are dealing with across the board. Looking forward to seeing how this develops. Uh, I know that public safety and crime is also something that mayors from across the country and the U.S. Conference of Mayors has discussed. You specifically announced a new violence reduction task force in response to the rise in gun violence in your city. I want to put up on the screen for folks what uh, you said. At a recent press conference, this is what you said. We know that the violence impacts all of us, definitely close to home in our neighborhood and the like, and I say close to home because I'm not leaving myself out of that equation. It impacts us all. What do you mean by that? Well, you know, it, it does. It impacts us all. It's in where I live as well. And so the people have to see me as their mayor, um, see themselves in me, and, and knowing that as we deploy and focus on public safety, that it is about making sure that all of our residents are safe, as well as our, our visitors, but uh, making sure through an executive order, uh, creating that violence uh, crime reduction task force, making sure that all of our stakeholders are at the table, from our judges, our DA, of course, uh, police chief, and the like, and community, and the New Orleans City Council, so that we're looking at data re in real time, uh, addressing trends mm. in real time, uh, making sure that we're boots on the ground, officers are deployed uh, in a way that, again, that getting back to the basics, uh, being not only visible, but making sure that we are making those solid arrests, uh, working with our federal partners as well, mm -hmm. getting guns off, off the, the street. street. Guns is something that specifically uh, I know, not just in New Orleans, but l across the country, in every community, large and small, folks are dealing with it. Absolutely. Before I let you go, the infrastructure bill that's now a law, I'm wondering, is New Orleans feeling the effects of that? And when you all were at the White House with President Biden, did you talk about that? Did it come up? And do you think that there's more to be done? Well, the infrastructure bill is something that is going to be a lifeline uh, for our cities and really for the country, uh, focusing on roads, streets, drainage, you know, bridges, transportation. All these things are vitally important. In the city of New Orleans, we are focusing on, of course, that green infrastructure, mm -hmm. making sure that we mitigate flooding in our community, that we are, you know, we're, we're at the forefront of climate change, no doubt out about it. But we're spending that federal dollar right now in our city and being able to leverage additional federal dollar mm. um, relative to infrastructure. It is something that is going to be transformational in our city and really in cities around the country. All right. Maybe a ribbon cutting coming to New Orleans sometimes. And you, <laughs> want, there's, there's one a week and, oh. even, and even more. But I tell you, the time is now. It was two years to yesterday, you know, in terms of this administration, the Biden mm -hmm. administration. And I tell you, just with the American Rescue Plan dollars as well, I can't leave without oh, yes, giving the a plug about that. 
Yes. I will just note, American Rescue Plan was immediate relief. This infrastructure bill and whatnot was some longer-term relief that um, might take a little while for people to feel and see, but it is going to make a lasting impact. Mayor, you're going to have to come back because I got more questions about yes, infrastructure indeed. in New Orleans. I, I wanted to say, okay. say a lot more about it. I all right, you. all right. Well, you will be back. Ladies and gentlemen, Mayor LaToya Cantrell of New Orleans. Thank you very much Thank for being here. Thank you very much. Appreciate it.